What's up guys, this is Frank M Tech here, and I'm doing another uh, tool review on one of my other Mighty Vac tools. And this tool is gonna end up being the Mighty Vac Vacuum Brake Bleeder. So let's get this ball rolling. Phew! All right guys, this is another product review of a my Mighty Vac uh, Vacuum Brake Bleeder. All right guys, this is a tool that I have here at the shop that helps me out bleeding the air out of the brake system. If you're a DOI guy, you work by yourself, um, this is actually a tool that will definitely help you out, help you bleed some of the air out of the system, all right? Regardless of me using this, I still pump um, brakes after doing this manually. There's different ways you can do that also by yourself, all right? First thing first, if you work by yourself, if you're a DOI guy that works by himself also, this tool will actually be great for you. If you do a caliber, if you do a brake hose, master cylinder, ABS pump, anything with the um, ABS or brake system that you have to open up and get air in the system and you want to bleed it out very quickly, this tool will be the one to use, all right? The reason why I say that, because this will help you out bleeding the system very, very quickly, all right? The way this works is by vacuum. This is a vacuum pump controlled by compressed air that you fit over here on this side, the lever to turn off and on the actual pump itself, which is worked great. And also you got a hose that connect to the actual pump itself on this side, on this side, and it's actually just clicking like that. It's pretty easy, just like the um, air hose that you got in the shop. And But it's actually a smaller fitting if you actually guys can see this, all right? This is basically what it is, it's an air pump. It's, that's all it is. You suck all the air and then some of the fluid into this bottle. This tool, it comes, it's basically this whole thing is actually a kit. This is actually where you have the fluid. This tool is to go on top of your master cylinder. If you guys actually can see, this is like a little, like how you can say, a little bracket that you hold on, twist onto your master cylinder. It holds on. Once you have that on there, and this part inside your brake master cylinder, you turn this over, upside down, and you can adjust it with this metal clip. And you've got a lever here to open and close the fluid so you can actually fill up the master cylinder. This tool basically, if you put on your master cylinder, while you suck in the air with the actual pump yourself, it works great together. You never, um, basically, you never get the master cylinder completely empty because you have this always feeding fluid. And I will advise you, if you do do that, make sure you fill the master cylinder up and also have this filled together. So, you know, you don't kill most of all your fluid when it comes, when you actually fill in the master fluid, the master cylinder with the fluid, because you will empty this out. All right, Matt, oh, uh, fill up the master cylinder, fill up this, turn it over, adjust it to where you want it to get filled. Once it gets to that point, that actual fill, uh, the filler will fill up the master fluid, master cylinder with fluid, and it will never let it go empty. This is the pump, we suck it out, different little, uh, different, parts of the caliber you can always start from the right uh, right rear left rear right front left front or some vehicles they want you to do right rear left front left rear right front that's how some vehicles are all right guys this is actually the pump works great you can use this pump to suck out the uh, fluid out of the master cylinder if you are going to do a uh, brake flush works great you have this little hose excuse me real quick this little hose well, you can actually stick inside the master fluid if, if it lets you stick it in the uh, master fluid master cylinder and you can suck all the fluid from the master cylinder why you sucked all that stuff try to get all the dirt and grime that's inside the master cylinder also this will definitely help you to suck all that stuff out and suck all the fluid into here make sure you pay attention with the fluid because it does get filled and it won't suck anymore because it's completely filled and another thing is this is mighty vac vacuum brake bleeder so it's only for brake fluid do not use any other fluid do not use this for uh, power steering fluid don't use this for um oil fluid uh transmission fluid oil engine oil nothing like that this is only strictly for brake fluid because you do not want to contaminate this with or or basically in reality do you don't want to contaminate this period with any other fluid okay this is only for brakes and brakes only that's what you need to understand a lot of people want to use this to suck out power steering fluid to do a flush but no use this only for brake fluid that's what it's made for that's what it's gonna stay for okay guys do not use it for anything else warning is already told <laughs> all right guys
So basically, this will work, all right? Um, the way I use it, um, I use it for whenever I do a master cylinder, ABS pump, any hoses or calibers, or I change up line or something. If I have to break, uh, have to basically bleed the uh, brake system for, with the air or from the air, if I have to bleed the brake system and suck out all the air in the system, this will definitely help a lot. These two put together help a lot. Uh, you suck out the air very quickly um, just to let you give you a heads up right off the bat. Once you put this onto the caliber or the bleeder from the caliber and you open up the uh, caliber or this actually will work on drum brakes also. When you put this on a bleeder, don't expect to have a steady stream coming out of that caliber, okay? It's not going to be a steady stream. Um, when I first got this, that's what I thought it was going to come out. It's not going to come out with a steady stream. You're going to have a lot of air in the thing. In the actual hole so just always paying attention how much fluid is actually coming out of there if you notice it's gonna come out a lot more than it was when it first started you mostly most likely got most of the air out if not all the air out of the system okay and um, yeah you go into different your brake bleeding procedure with this tool very quickly all right but I don't trust this a hundred percent why you ask me um you can bleed this all you want, all right, with the tool. It's a great tool. I'm not going to lie. It's a great tool for actually flushing the um, brake system. Very great tool, okay, guys? Clean. Uh, don't mess up my floors as much at all with this tool because I try to keep everything inside this container, not on the floor, all right? Um, even though I do bleed the system with the brake, uh, with the brake, brake bleeder, I still pump the brakes, okay? There is a way you can pump the brakes by yourself, and if you're wondering why this bottle is here, this is how I do it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video on this bottle and how I do brake, uh, basically pump brakes when I'm here by myself. And most of the time, I do need help um, bleeding brakes. Sometimes I used to get the guys across the street, guys next door, uh, call my brother up, or if somebody's around the way that I know, a friend of mine, my wife, or anybody that can help me out. You know they'll help me out and call them but i hate doing bothering people for that so i my one of my friends told me to use a snapple bottle so what i'm going to do one of these days i'm going to show you how i use a snapple bottle to actually bleed my brakes by myself all right guys that's going to be it for another video and i hope that will actually help a lot of you guys that does brakes by yourself and doi guys that does it at the house and need somebody to break uh bleed the brakes i'm going to show you how i do it with this all right so basically that's what it is all right guys i know it's a little bit beat up in the front with the tag and everything i do use this a lot i use this a whole bunch <laughs> i do a lot of brake flushes i try to um sell a lot of brake flushes on my brake jobs it's hard but i still do it and i do it a lot and sometimes with my oil change i do sell brake service uh brake flush services because i do have a tool to make it much easier for myself much quicker with this tool um I get the job done very quickly. This one of the tools that I definitely use. Yes, I do have a lot of Mighty Vac stuff. Um, Mighty Vac tools, they, they work great for me. So why not um, spread the word to tell you guys this actually worked for me. Why not, it, why not would it work for you? You know, everybody got their own opinion. But in my opinion, this definitely worked out great. Like I said, definitely use this tool to help you bleed the brakes. But in the same time, for, um, in the same time, make sure you pump the brakes manually to help you take out the air just put like this after doing this sucking out all the air out of the system in reality you need to probably do it let's say you pump the brakes you have to do uh twice in each tire and you're completely done and very quickly that's done if you're doing like an abs pump make sure you guys follow the procedure of the vehicle some vehicles uh ask to do with the scanner to do basically uh, ABS bleed procedures. So make sure you guys follow those procedures. Follow this procedure of the car when you um, bleeding brakes. All right, guys. This is another Mighty Vac review. Another tool that I have here at my shop. And hope you enjoy. I'm gonna put all the links below in the description of the below. Ha. I'm gonna give you all the links below in the description of this video so you can get uh, a price on this and also you can see how much it is these stuff that i'm trying to show you guys is something that i have here at the shop that may uh work great for you guys okay uh, another question i wanted to answer to one of my uh subscribers with the uh, transmission fluid 
uh, dispenser. Uh, they asked me if I can use uh, or they can use gear oil in that thing. Yes, you can. You definitely can use gear oil in that um, fluid dispenser. It works great with it. I used Lucas Transmission Fluid um, in that dispenser and it floated out quick. Even though you had to pump a little bit more harder, but it definitely used it. It definitely pumped it out into the transmission. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you're actually interested in something buying or something like this. I hope I can get this brake bleeder selfie thingy uh, video soon so you guys can actually can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'll try to do it for next week. I don't have no cars that have to bleed brakes, but if I had to, I'll try to do it as soon as possible and try to get it up for next week. And once again, I wanted to say thank you to everybody. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that alert button. Give me a like and a comment on the bottom of this video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.